Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. The Flux the One context has been released. I uploaded a video on running it using NVIDIA GPU. People like it. What about uh, MacBook? For MacBook, the same model is able to run, however, it's quite uh, slow. Probably at least 20 to 30 minutes for one image, while the NVIDIA GPU can just generate one image like one minute or less. So I will do a tutorial and a demo on running it on MacBook. There is some tricks that need to be used. So firstly, we need to use a quantitized model. The original model size is 22.8. Even for FP8, it's 11.9. It's still quite big. Luckily, we can quantitize it further. So for example, from Q8 12.7, you can go to Q6, Q5, Q4, or even Q2. So in today's video, I will use the Q2 one. Make sure that you download this Q2 one. And after you download that, you move that to your comfy UI models directory, go to the unit here, and uh, place it uh, here. So this is the Q2, the model one. All right, and uh, then secondly, another way to uh, speed it up is by using a lower called uh, Flux the one Turbo Alpha. This is uh, a Laura that can be used to reduce the number of steps from 20 to 8. So this is the 8 step distilled Laura. So this one, you also go to this page, you go to the files, you find the diffusion PyTorch models, the safe tensor, the last file, and you click the download button. After you download that, you move that to your comfy UI models the laurels here, and you can rename it. So for example, I renamed it to the Turbo Alpha 8 Steps the Safe Tensor, so this one. After that, we can uh, start uh, our Comfy UI. So here is some example I just uh, run. If you are not sure how to run the Comfy UI on your MacBook, please check out my previous tutorial on Comfy UI installation on MacBook. And uh, once you start the server, you can go to your web browser, you can load the Flux context example workflow. So this is provided by the Comfy UI. You can download that or you can go to my uh, repo to download that too. I will upload it there. I will use the example page. So this one is the input page. The key difference is that the original workflow uses uh, the load diffusion model, the FP8 one. We want to change that to use the, the GGUF, the quantized model. So in order to do that, you would also need to install the GGUF custom node if you haven't. So go to your manager. You can see the custom nodes manager. You can search for the GGUF. First one, if you don't have it, you can install it right in your browser and then restart the Comfy UI. And uh, another tip is that uh, we want to further optimize it. Another tip is to use a co node called a tcatch node. So this, this is the tcatch node. You also want to install that if you haven't. I also have a, another tutorial on it. Please check it out if you are interested. So for the custom node manager, you search for the tcatch2014, this one, Comfy UI tcatch. You can install it right here and then restart the Comfy UI. All right, after you install the two custom nodes, you can start to play with it. So make sure that you have the GGUF loader. So that's also, so this is how you can get it. So GGUF, you see the UNET logo here. And this, this one, and then you can choose the one you want to use. 
and secondly, we will then connect it to a LoRa Lodo. So here is the LoRa Lodo. We want to. You can select which one you want. We want to use the eight steps alpha. Click on that, and next we connect it to a T catch node. So the T catch from model to the T catch. And the T catch is the flux. We use flux. That's the only modification you need. So this is three, one, two, three, and connect that to the model. So it's quite a simple modification. However, it can greatly reduce the time needed to generate one image. So I think that's a really great investment. And then I think then you can provide your input image. So I will use the example image here. And then you describe which one you want to do to make the edit. So, for example, I will do a task to change it to a black and a white coloring book page. So this one will turn it into a coloring book page. So let's see how it works and how about the performance on my MacBook. Let's get started. So I will. I will show you the progressing bar and also show you the system monitoring for it, so you can see how much GPU or RAM it need to run it. So luckily, I think for the our quantized model, it's about four gigabytes, so it's not really huge, right? So I think that is a, a good sign. So let's click the run button to get things started. All right, we see our progressing bar is showing the eight steps. This is our GPU and the unified RAM. The MacBook has thirty-six gigabytes, and the Python uses about sixteen gigabytes already. And we see the GPU has been backed to almost one hundred percent utilization. Once we have one step completed, it will show you a estimation. So the estimated time is six minutes. I think once it got to three or four step, the T catch node will start to work, which can further reduce the time. So it can reduce about fifty percent. So total time might be around three minutes to generate one image. Yes, we do see that after three steps, I think it reduced the total estimated time to about four minutes. All right, we see that the eight steps took about four minutes and forty-two seconds. We. Successfully generated the image. Let's take a look at it. Go back to the web browser. Yeah, we see that it successfully generated the the image after the editing. Wow, it looks really really nice, right? Um, it understand our instruction and it is able to turn the input image into a black and white coloring page. Wow, it's wonderful.、Um, yeah, I think that's great news for the MacBook users. Even though it's a little bit、uh, slow, I'm sure that、uh, there will be future optimization coming soon. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and、uh, share it. Please、uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.